Best scene where Kumenu cried. Interior meditation room day. Tensu takes a meal in the middle of the room. Come and sit with me, men. Master, have you gone mad? My thinking is clear, Yusugi. Please, take a seat. No! We have to fight! Can't you see, you ignorant fuck? Master Tensu will be recaptured and we'll all be executed. What does it matter by this point? If we're gonna take the lot of them with us... Master Tensu rubs his head in frustration and catches a couple glimpses of sights he witnessed over the course of the failed escape. He sees the innocent blacksmith lying down on the grand steps, the surgeon who Kikiyamu mistook for a soldier, the geisha that Master Tensu cut down by accident, Yusugi stabbing Nakamura in the back. Have none of you learned anything over the course of my tutelage? That's not true. Is it so? Remember what I said to you back at Lord Matsuda's campfire before this whole mess brought us to this climax. There is no honor in this indiscriminate killing. If you wanted to disseminate the clan, why not just disband it? Why did you have to sacrifice all my brothers in the process of this doomed crusade? What was the logic in this? It was never my intention to deceive you, Yusugi. You see, it was Emperor Yuchitomo who was responsible for the death of my father. All of the samurai surrounding Master Tensu slowly sit and listen. When he conscripted my father, he tarnished his dreams of a life of solitude. Through battle, he slowly started to break his spirit. After my father had been trained of any semblance of a man, he was killed in battle like so many before him. But the sins of the father were visited upon the son. When I had the Emperor Saki poisoned, I never expected his son to fight amongst themselves. Poisoned? But Emperor Uchitomo died of a heart attack. Yusugi looks at Kikiyama, Tanaki, and Karahashi. You knew this whole time. All of you. They all shake their heads in acceptance. I can see now. I see why you brought us here. Yusugi looks around the room and admires the white kombushi magnolia trees. He looks into the faces of his encircling brothers. This is where Komenu cried. My father found peace in the fields and in the valleys. He found harmony in the woodland surrounding our stead. There was a shrine hidden deep in the forest, a shrine depicting a weeping Komanyu. Sometimes I would find him there, sobbing over his katana. The war had changed him, like all men, but I noticed something different about him, something odd, like he was now hollow on the inside, when before he was jubilant and euphoric. It's the toll of casualties. It's the body count. It's the gruesome way we dispatch our enemies that lives on in our depraved hands, not the fair fights. The Komenu weep for the dearly departed. So, this is it? Master? I'm afraid so, Kikiyamo. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. No, Master. You need not apologize. My greatest triumph in life has been serving under your tutelage. I am honored to die by your side. As am I, Master. Ten of the eleven remaining samurai find comfortable positions on the ground, expose their bellies and unsheath their short katanas. I shall serve you in death, Master. What do you think you're doing, Yusugi? Honoring the blood oath. No. You shall do no such thing. Master, I... You have not yet experienced the touch of a female or the taste of a fine sake. You have not yet experienced life to the fullest. You cannot ask me to leave my family behind. Exterior, Sugawara Fortress Courtyard. The flames start to rise and envelop the upper portions of the fortress. The soldiers finally manage to knock down the barricaded entrance and clear away the ladders. Interior meditation room, day. But you must. Yusuki, for the sake of all those who will perish on this day. I... I don't understand. You carry the hope, Yusuki. You've been carrying it all along, your senenbari. Yusuki tears off his senenbari, feels a small scroll folded inside and reveals it with his hand. It is the only living document which proves who truly succeeds the throne. Yusuki begins to sob and pant hysterically. Master, I cannot! We're surrounded! The soldiers will cut me down at first glance. You got this far playing an act, Yusugi. I'm sure you can act your way out of much worse. Master Tensu winks at Yusugi, who looks in the direction of a hidden passage tucked into the far wall. Your blood oath is annulled. Now go and tell our story, young Yusugi. Yusugi wipes his tears away and bobs in approval.
Okay, master. Okay. I will do as you ask. We will always be family, Yusugi. Our bonds run deeper than any blood oath. Goodbye, master. May Amaterasu guide you all. Master Tensu looks into Yusugi's face and gives an unmistakable smile. He exposes his belly along with unsheathing his small katana. Karahashi, Kikiyama, Master Tensu, and the six other samurai commit seppuku with quick stabs to the heart. Tanaka perspires like crazy and hesitates for a moment, thinking of his family before he stabs himself and ends his life. Yusugi stands in disillusionment over the bodies of his samurai as we hear the cacophony of background noises. He lucidly inches his way toward the secret exit and forces open the small opening leading downward.